So the top eight riders make their way onto the track, where they'll be introduced to tonight's sponsors, Fort Grant Limited of Ipswich. What an exciting meeting for them to sponsor. This will certainly be a spectacle, I can assure you, if you've never seen this kind of racing before. Four riders start at the gate position, but the highest four qualified scores have to start behind them. Mick Paul is the first rider introduced. He's off the front grid. David Norris is on the front grid as well. Paul Whitaker of Hackney alongside David Norris there. Ipswich captain Alan Mogridge also on the front. So to the back grid now, the top four. First to be introduced there is Andy Galvin, the Hackney captain. Been standing, a big cheer for the home favourite. Certainly flying in his qualifying rides. Top man in the NL averages, Steve Schofield. What a cracking final heat this is going to be. And on the inside, National League Riders champion, Ipswich rider, Mark Loram. So we can certainly be in some fireworks for sure now. And what a, a heat these expecting supporters are about to see. And here we go then. We've got Mick Paul in red, David Norris blue, Alan Mogridge white, Paul Whitaker yellow. And at the back, Mark Loram red and white. Steve Schofield blue and white. Dean Stanley green and white. Andy Galvin green. And away they go into the first turn. It's the first four. And leading there is Alan Mogridge. And in fact, we have trouble at the back now. We have a faller on the second bend. We'll take another look at that. Well, at the first time of asking, the first four negotiate the first turn comfortably enough, but the second four, the top boys on the night, not quite as successful. Dean Standing, the Ipswich rider, coming to grief on the second bend. There he goes, crashing into the safety fence. We'll see what the referee's decision is on that. So Dean Standing, back on his machine, thankfully. Repairs affected to the safety fence. And it's a restart with all four, or all eight, all four in Dean's grid. So we're all off again. And into the first turn, it's Alan Mogridge leading there. He back four joined now, and there's no fallers this time. But it's Alan Mogridge who's leading. David Norris in second, Paul Whitaker third, under pressure from Mick Paul. Steve Schofield, in fact, has tumbled off at the back. Steve Schofield has come crashing off. It's Alan Mogridge leading at the moment, and in fact, the red lights have now come on. Race well, stopped again, of course. Steve Schofield, a faller this time, of Hackney. Scurry back on his feet, and he's been excluded. There he goes, as he pulls off that stoppage. So we are now down to seven. And we shall try again. And Alan Mogridge has made the start for the third time. So it's Mogo leading. Bit of a tangle at the back there. Didn't quite see it was between. Galvin and Lorem, I think. But leading the way is Alan Mogridge, the Ipswich captain. Paul Whitaker is in second, Mick Paul third. That's David Norris there. And there's certainly it is an amazing spectacle here. You can hit the riders out if you can. You can see Alan Mogridge leading the race still. Under some pressure though from Paul Whitaker. Mick Paul still holding third. Andy Galvin coming through now from the backpack, leading the chase. He's come past David Norris, so he's picked one off. And in fact, we've got another faller now. And crashing into the safety fence was Dean Standing. Certainly a nasty looking fall for Dean. We'll take another look. Well, another faller here. You can see leading this pack is Andy Galvin. He's just passed David Norris. And trying to do likewise is Dean Standing. And Dean sweeping around the outside in the centre of the screen, more or less, has come crashing down. There he goes. 
removing two or three bits of safety fence there. A nasty fall indeed there from Dean Standing. Hope he'll be OK. We'll see what the referee's decision is this time. Well, Dean Standing has been excluded. And sadly, he's also on his way to hospital. Nice looking tumble indeed, of course. We'll bring you any information if we have it. But Chris Louis there, suffering from flu. I'll have to take part tonight. Miss Ipswich Speedway, enjoying the thrilling spectacle from the centre green. So poor old Alan Mogridge must do it again. We're now over 13 laps, it must be pointed out. We're down to six riders. And Paul Whitaker has beaten Moggo to the first turn this time. So it's Whitaker leading. Mogridge in second, and Moggo under pressure now from Andy Galvin. Mick Paul on the outside, but it's Paul Whitaker leading, Moggo second, Galvin third, Mick Paul fourth, then it's Mark Lorham, then it's David Norris. And in fact, Mick Paul has now come crashing off on the second turn. The Peterborough riders down will take another look at the Australians for. Well, the incident pack meeting throws up another spill. Will we complete tonight's events, we ask? This time, Skoda Panther Mick Paul is the one to bite the dust. There he is at the top there, crashing into the safety fence, same place that Dean Standing did first time, removing those boards. And I should think that'll be an exclusion for Mick Paul. Well, sadly, Mick Paul on the stretcher now. Hopefully he'll be OK. Now, of course, we are down to five riders over 12 laps and we have problems with the starting gate this time in fact David Norris there stooping underneath it Lauren and Galvin happily to uh, sit there and wait wonder what's going on of course but uh, I think they've realised the tape hasn't lifted up so another rerun away we go Galvin missing the start badly you can see there Lauren though and it's Mogridge again Whitaker on the outside, Moggo leading, Whitaker second, Galvin coming into third ahead of Lorem. But it's Alan Mogridge leading again. So Moggo must be wondering what on earth he's got to do to win this. Mogridge from Whitaker, from Galvin, from Lorem, from Norris. So we're almost back to a standard fill now, down to five. But it's a Hackney Ipswich party at the moment. It's Moggo leading, Galvin. Whitaker in second, Galvin third, and Lorem in fourth, with Norris at the back. So Alan Mogridge, of course, this strain on men and machines now, this 16 lapper. Jano Pedersen of Cradley was the last winner when it was staged in 1987 in the British League, wasn't run last year. He's back here tonight, 1989, and in the final of the 16 lapper, I'll leave you to count the laps, Alan Mogridge is leading. We're down to 12 laps, of course, now in this particular race. Six laps to go. Have they doped and all the machines up enough? Can those arms hang on for another six laps? Alan Mogridge, bit lad, will be hoping he can. Five laps to go, Moggo leads. Paul Whittaker second, Galvin third, Lauren fourth, Norris at the back. It is ultra slick. It is very difficult indeed now to make any ground up on the rider in front of you, as these riders are experiencing. Now, barring anything untoward, like a fall or an engine failure, Alan Mogridge, with four laps to go, could well wrap this up now. He's very quick round here. Galvin is closing up gradually on Paul Whitaker. And in fact, Galvin trying to put some pressure on Whitaker now, but it's still Mogridge leading. Three laps to go, and Whitaker has. Galvin's forced a way through on the inside of Paul Whitaker now. So Galvin coming through. Past Whitaker, Mogridge still leads, Galvin now second. Whitaker third, Lorem fourth. Lorem trying to challenge Paul Whitaker now if he can. Whitaker's gone wide, Lorem challenges again, and Lorem's forced his way through, and Paul Whitaker is slowing. Paul Whitaker definitely slowing now. David Norris has caught up Paul Whitaker, that's a bit of bad luck for Paul Whitaker there. This Mogo leads, two laps to go, Galvin second. Between these three now, Mogridge leads, Galvin second, Mark Lorem third. So the championship will be decided now between these three. Will it be a witch? Will it be a Kestrel? It's Alan Mogridge leading with a lap to go. The crowd are cheering them on now. Mark Lorem's now challenging on the outside. Lorem trying to force the way through. He's challenging Alan Mogridge. Galvin's coming back on the inside. And it's fever pitch now. The crowd chant themselves off and Mogridge is down. And Lorem has crashed into Moggo. 
Galvin luckily had seemed to pass the pair of them on the inside. He was clear, but Lorma Mogridge collided. We'll have to take another look at that. Well, there's some very tired limbs and machines out there now, and Alan Mogridge is still leading. He's been leading all the way. Mark Lauren moved up into second briefly, but Galvin challenged back on the inside. Shoulder to shoulder here. Teammates, of course, last season, but Mogo and Lauren with Ipswich now, of course, battling it out for the right to lift this title. Galvin challenges on the inside. The title is up for grabs. They're all going flat out for it. And watch what happens here. Galvin's chosen the inside, and as Mogridge crashes off, Lorem has nowhere to go. Fortunately for Galvin, he was clean through on the inside. So he escaped that. So did David Norris. That was very bad indeed there for Alan Mogridge and Mark Lorem. And we'll leave you to decide the possible outcome of that. Well, the stricken riders being attended to. David Norris back round there. Andy Galvin making his way round. Galvin was through on the inside there. Not Norris luckily missed him. There's Paul Whitaker. His machine is giving up the ghost in the end. Alan Mogridge is back to his feet, thankfully. And there's Mark Lorm as well. Alan Mogridge is getting a good reception from the crowd, and we just have to wait and see what is to happen now, actually. Wait on a decision from the referee. That's what they're racing for tonight, the three trophies.